Okay, this is Jonathan at Colfax Math. I'm just going to do a really quick video on how to get started in SketchUp for schools. Uh, a lot of schools who have Chromebooks have the G Suite account, and this is really the quickest way to get started drawing in SketchUp. It is a browser-based um, software. So I'm just going to type in SketchUp in the Google bar, and here are all the different SketchUp options. And you might want to try a lot of these. A lot of these are free options but I'm just gonna walk through SketchUp for schools. I click on this uh, and then I wanna hit get started. This is all browser-based SketchUp. It is a CAD software. It is the mostly used CAD software there is. And then if you have a Chromebook, you're gonna hit yes. And then what is your role? You're gonna hit student and then you could get started. That's how easy it is to get into SketchUp. A lot of the directions I have are not in the software um, but they're easy enough to figure out. So let me just walk through some directions. So we're going to create a new file. And because we're in America, we want to use the units feet and inches. Or I could do meters and millimeters, but here we're going to use feet and inches. So I just click on that first template. It puts a guy in here or a girl in here to give you perspective of how big your drawings are. These are your X, Y, and Z axes. These are all positive space here. And then this is where you're gonna start drawing, okay? You could save these files in your Google Drive. And then, you know, if you wanna submit them, then you could just submit that file in Classroom. So the first thing I'm gonna do is draw that rectangle. So I wanna draw a box six foot by three foot by four foot. So this is my rectangle tool. I'm going to draw a rectangle. This is the tricky part. It took me a while to figure this out. I actually just click my mouse and I start drawing away with my fingers not clicking again. And as I'm drawing it away, now in the bottom right hand corner here, I'm going to click my dimensions. So I do one click, I release the, the clicker and I draw away and I'm going to go six foot, comma, three foot, and hit enter. So on the keyboard, I'm hitting six. That's the foot mark, comma, and then that's the other mark, three foot. Okay, so I'm all done creating that rectangle. I'm coming over here to the push pull tool. I click on that. I want to pull up. So I'm going to click on this same thing. I just click on it and release, and I draw it up. Before I click again, if I click again, it's just going to stop it wherever I stopped it, two foot. 10 and 5 sixteenths inches, but I'm going to enter four feet and then hit enter. And there's my cube. Okay. My second cube is also going to be six foot by three foot by four foot. So I'm going to go back to creating a rectangle. I'm going to click here, drag it over, enter six foot comma three foot enter. I'm done drawing. I'm going to extrude it or push pull. I click on here once and I draw it up another four feet enter. Okay, I wanna go back to drawing a rectangle. I wanna draw on the front of this. I'm just gonna make this rectangle, um, I don't know. I, I don't like just clicking because then it's always impossible to go back. So I do like to go to, you know, even increment. So let's say I make this five foot comma, three foot, enter, there's that rectangle. And then I'm gonna go back to extrude and I could extrude it back through. The depth of it would be three foot. So I could hit three feet and it goes all the way through there. If I don't like that, control Z undoes, control Z. And I could go back and do a rectangle again. I'll click down here and I'll draw up and I'll go four, foot comma two foot enter there's a rectangle drawn on there back to extrusion i click on that i want to go back the three foot and there it is okay then next this is my selection tool here i don't need to hit this to zoom in and out but now i'm using the roller ball to zoom out a little bit and i'm going to draw one more rectangle over here so again to rectangle click in the front left Draw it back, six feet, comma, three 
V, enter. My extrusion, click on the top, I draw it up. This time I'm only going up two feet, enter. Back to my rectangle tool, and I just want to draw another rectangle on here. Again, I'm going to make it, uh, I don't know, four foot, comma, one foot, enter. So there it is. Back to extrusion, I click on the, see how, let me zoom in a little bit. Here, this would extrude this whole big face up, but I only want to extrude that up, so I'm going to draw that up. And then after one click, two feet, enter. So those are my first three blocks there. I'm going to hold my roller ball down a little bit and rotate this. And now I'm going to draw my cylinders over here. So the next drawing is a cylinder um, with no dimensions on it. Cylinder or circle, which will be the flat 2D, will be under a rectangle here. So if I click on rectangle, this is a circle. I'm going to click on the center point of the circle. I'm going to draw it out. And then I'm going to enter a dimension, two feet, enter. I'm just going to draw that circle up the same four feet, back to extrude. I click on here and go up, four feet, enter. I'm going to draw a second cylinder. So I'm over here to cylinder. I'm going to click over here. This can be my center point. I'll go out two feet again, enter, extrude it up. Keystrokes are actually a better way, but I'm going to extrude it up the same four feet. Back to circle, I'll click the center here and draw it out, say one foot. And I'm going to pull this back through. So back to my extrusion tool, I'm going to click on that and I want to pull it down four feet, enter. What do we have? And then a cylinder stacked on a cylinder. So back to circle. I'm going to click over here for the center of it and call it two feet, enter. And extrude that up two feet. Back to circle, click on here. I'll go one foot. And then I want to extrude that up and I'll come up again two feet. So those are the basic blocks. Hopefully I'll give you the first assignment. I don't think I took too long. Uh, I want to make sure I save it. I'm going to create a Google folder for all of my SketchUp drawings and I'm always going to name it as well. So the, way, the good naming here would be your name, assignment number one, blocks or something like that. So we'll just call this assignment number one in blocks. And then, uh, and then I could save it. So I go back to home and create a new file for another one, or I could open existing files. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully that helped. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments below if you have any. Thank you for watching.